People in black, in masks, with weapons, beating up people on the street and smashing the NCR and smashing businesses. My reaction was, this is not the Hong Kong that I knew. And this is not the Hong Kong that can be. Hong Kong is this multinational mixing pot of all sorts of people who want to do business in a place that has rule of law, right? It's one of the freest places in the world. It allows these different ecosystems to come together and create all sorts of magic. We've worked so hard in Hong Kong over the last few decades to create a wealthy, happy place. And these people don't understand what it takes to build this the city and they're destroying it. It seems like these people doing the violence have never gone hungry. They've never had a real challenge with knowing where they're going to live, how are they going to pay the bills. I can understand young people who feel they have no way out, who feel trapped and who do not have the emotional skills the intellectual skills to manage that. I feel very, very sad that this destruction is being done. I feel very sad for the people doing it. So I think there's actually an issue here with um, a lack of ability to introspect, a lack of ability to honestly look at one's own behavior is to honestly examine one's own thinking. Violence should never be used as a means towards an end. Violence in some rare occasions in self-defense can be justified. Beyond that, using violence for political outcomes should never be tolerated. Using violence instead of trying to understand the situation should never be tolerated. People as a whole in Hong Kong have been very respectful of the police and will follow police instructions and it's all been very, very civilized. I think the Hong Kong police have been extremely restrained. I've seen video of Paris and other parts in France and they're certainly not constrained. I've seen them taking pepper spray to people in wheelchairs. Uh, I've seen them literally beating people unconscious uh, who were running away. There's levels of violence by the police on the, on the population in France that um, I think is unacceptable and we absolutely do not have that here in Hong Kong. I saw a video in the U of, of somebody in the US, big black guy, drunk I think with a stick and a cop, one policeman with a gun on him and um, he took a swing at the policeman with a stick uh, with like this much distance, a, a meter at least, away from the guy. And the policeman emptied a magazine into him. Just shot him dead on the street. Completely unacceptable. Hong Kong police are trying to keep the peace and not hurt anybody. And that is being taken advantage of. And what we have now a little bit is a, is a situation of guerrilla warfare. And I hope people actually back off and start to think rationally about this because the Hong Kong police force is charged with the security of people and of property in this city. And they cannot stand back and allow one group of people to beat the crap out of other people just because they have a different viewpoint. That is unacceptable and that destroys freedom of speech in Hong Kong. Allowing this level of violence to continue and to escalate is, a, is destroying freedom of speech in Hong Kong.